Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is the news from the fourth week of May. First up, SK Bioscience promises global cooperation with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on COVID-19 vaccines. SK Bioscience announced on the 17th that it has discussed ways to strengthen its partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on COVID-19 vaccines, including SkyCoV-1. CEO of the foundation, Mark Sussman, president of the foundation's global health program, Trevor Mundell, Vice Chairman and Co-CEO of SK Discovery Corporation Limited, Che Chang Wang, and CEO of SK Bioscience, An Jae Yong, attended the discussion conducted by the Gates Foundation in Seattle. On the same day, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and SK Bioscience decided to further strengthen their partnership and successfully complete the ongoing vaccine development. Previously, with the support of the foundation, SK Bioscience successfully developed a COVID-19 vaccine. SK Bioscience said, we plan to continue to expand cooperation to perform the tasks necessary for global health and respond to various diseases and infectious diseases in the future. For our second story, autonomous cooperative driving bus to test run in Pangyo next month and actually run from September. Gyeonggi-do announced on the 17th that the autonomous cooperative driving bus that has been pushing has passed a screening for temporary driving permits after going through a driving test at the Korean Automobile Testing and Research Institute's K-City Self-Driving Car Test Site on the 9th. Accordingly, if the autonomous cooperative driving bus of Gyeonggi-do obtains a temporary driver's license for autonomous driving from the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport at the end of this month, a test run will begin in June. During the test run, only the manager will be on board to inspect its safety. Based on the results of the test run, Gyeonggi-do plans to pick up passengers on the road in Pangyo Techno Valley in Songnam City as early as September and operate these buses for the first time in South Korea along with other conventional vehicles. Gyeonggi-do's autonomous cooperative driving bus is a customized version of commercial low floor electric bus manufactured by Edison Motors. It is the same size as a regular bus, but has a lower number of passengers, about 20 seats that are available. It is equipped with autonomous driving systems such as radar and LIDAR, and information on transportation infrastructure is provided by Gyeonggi-do Autonomous Driving Center in Pangyo. A round-trip bus runs between Pangyo First Techno Valley and Second Techno Valley, which is seven kilometers long in compliance with the legal speed of up to 50 kilometers per hour. When an object appears in front of the bus, the sensor recognizes the object and stops the bus. For safety, the automatic operation system will stop running if the driver intervenes by operating the accelerator pedal or brake pedal. The provincial government will decide on the fare and the number of operations after the test run. For our third story, Naver to make new investments in an NFT content startup, Modehouse. Naver's startup training organization D2SF announced on the 19th that it has made a new investment in non-fungible token and blockchain content startup, Modehouse. Future Play and TimeWise Investment participated as joint investors in Modehouse's pre-series A round. Pre-Series A is an investment made in the stage of formulating hypotheses on business items and verifying them. Modehouse is developing an entertainment platform in which fans can participate using NFT and blockchain technology. Unlike in the past, when artists were introduced through the agency's own production, the entire process of artist production, from trainee selection to concept and planning, will be carried out with the participation of fans. Currently, Modehouse is preparing for a girl group Triple S as its first project, starting with the first member's disclosure on the first. The content was introduced one after another. It is currently continuing active communication with the fan community. Yang Sang Hwan, leader of Naver D2SF said on the Metaverse platform, content that can lead to active participation of the fan community is important, which is based on NFT and blockchain technology. He added, we expect 
that there will be great synergy effects along with Naver's various content platforms in the future. Meanwhile, Naver D2SF has steadily invested in technologies and platforms that help users directly participate in content production. Naver D2SF is openly recruiting new investment teams through its website. Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport to hold open recruitment of startups for Drone Company Support Hub in Pangyo. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport and Korea Institute of Aviation Safety Technology announced that they will openly recruit budding companies specialized in drones that are eager to move into the Drone Company Support Hub in Pangyo, Gyeonggi Province from the 16th. Drone Company Support Hub refers to a place that provides space for startups that have excellent technologies or ideas related to drones to move in at a low rent. Companies that have moved in can receive support from the use of public testing equipment, prototyping, and patent application costs. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport provides 2.8 billion won annually to tenant companies, including for prototyping, corporate consulting, intellectual property applications, in the fairs and participation in those expos, and investment attraction support. The application for competition ends on the 14th of next month. Prospective entrepreneurs or fledgling companies with seven years of establishment or less will be eligible. And companies selected after evaluation will move in on August 1st. More details can be found on the website of the Korea Institute of Aviation Safety Technology and Drone Information Portal. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, Kakao Mobility to sign a reservation services agreement with Niki Taxi Service, Guam's local business. Kakao Mobility announced on the 17th that it has signed a business agreement with Miki Taxi, one of Guam's largest taxi brands. Both companies are planning to introduce local taxi reservation services through Kakao T application within the third quarter of this year. For our second short news of the week, Nexon Developers Conference to be held on the 8th of next month. On the 16th, Nexon announced the detailed schedule of the 2022 Nexon Developer Conference, or NDC, which will be held online from the 8th to the 10th of next month. At NDC, 60 lectures, 55 open sessions, and 5 closed sessions on various topics such as game planning, programming, data analysis, metaverse, NFTs, and careers will be provided. Up next, industry academic cooperation between LIG Next One and Inha University on aircraft and guided weapons. LIG Next One announced on the 16th that it has signed a Memorandum of Understanding or an MOU on aircraft and guided weapons at Inha University Aerospace Campus in Songdo, Incheon on the 4th. And that's it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigurist and I'll see you next week.